Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video, uh, want to do a quick benchmark test between the brand new LG uh, G6 and the uh, older phone here from Samsung, the uh, Galaxy S7 from last year, there is Samsung's high-end phone. So I want to do a quick little startup and a geek bench test benchmark test to see what kind of score uh, they're getting if there's a major difference. Of course, I'm also going to do this video probably comparing the brand new G6 here, LG's high-end phone for this year, 2017, and compare it against the Galaxy S8 uh, when I get it. So uh, uh, yeah, just a quick little video. Uh, seeing that, you can kind of see both have a very premium uh, design here, glass back and, and all of that, and it, it's nice. So let's uh, check this out pretty quick. So it's time here to start them up. Both are running on Android 7.0 here with LG's G6 own UI and everything, the latest update. Here with Samsung's Android 7.0 and all that the latest Grace UX update. So uh, let's start them up here and do the benchmark test after. Let's go. And the G6 uh, startup button, of course, is on the back of the phone. Let's see. I really hope LG wins this one because, I mean, it should win because it's an older phone. Or it's a newer phone. Not older. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I think it won there by a little. You did see I did have a little bit of problems. It, this one loaded up, but then... Uh, it had to load a little bit more. I think uh, eventually the the G6 was faster than the S7. If I go down to about phone here, you can see uh, software info. Uh, let's see about device, Android Sumpito here, and Android Sumpito there. So perfect that they both are running on that. So let's do this benchmark test here. You can kind of see here how they kind of the G6. I kind of copied it. looks like uh, Sammy's UI. I mean, they actually copy it a lot, <laughs> even inside of the settings. But then again, I think that they should innovate. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's just what happens. People copy each other. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's do this uh, Geekbench test here. So I have this app installed. Okay, so we're gonna run this test. Almost both have uh, around the same uh, memory and CPU speed is a little bit different, but um, let's see what, what kind of uh, score we're gonna get here. I really have no idea. Mm, and it can be a bit interesting. And uh, the, the G6 costs around 700 euros. Uh, let's see what the, what the Galaxy S7 costs. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to see the new price. So I'm just gonna go into a website here while this uh, thing is loading. Okay, so Galaxy S7 new. Okay, so you can get it for around, yeah, 32 gigabyte for uh, 500 euros, a little bit cheaper sometimes, 460 euros or something, maybe 450 euros. Uh, for a 32 gigabyte S7, okay. Uh, so 700 euros for the new uh, G6 for 50, so it's 150% uh, uh, higher in price, 1.5x in price, the, um, the uh, G6, so can be interesting to hear to see if it's worth it. One thing I did notice with the display, uh, on the uh, G6. I wish it was a little bit brighter because that's something I can see with the Samsung display. Now when I have full brightness, I can still see uh, that uh, Samsung phones is just way, way brighter. Uh, app scaling, huh, I have no idea what that is. But wow, it's very interesting how the test is running at the same kind of percentage almost. It's almost like they're battling it out. I, I don't think that means that it has to get the, the same score. It's, it, it is, you know, you never know really. Uh, oh yeah, now when I remember it, actually the G6 is only running on the, on the Snapdragon 821. 
which is last year's. And I think that the Galaxy S8, which I'm gonna get very, very soon, is running on Snapdragon 835, I think. And I think also there's an Exynos variant. Uh, Samsung, let's see what the Galaxy S is, the Galaxy S7 is running. So if I go into GSM Arena, I'm just gonna go here in pretty quick, GSM Arena, and I'm gonna uh, hit in uh, S7 and the standard edition of S7. So it is running on Exynos 8890 uh, Octa, uh, which you can see over here, Exynos 8890 Octa, and the Mali-T 880 MP12 uh, GPU, uh, 5.1 inch display uh, versus the G6, what kind of GPU is that one running on? Uh, the G6, let's see if I go in here pretty quick. Um, okay, so uh, that one has the G6, has the uh, Snapdragon 821, as I said, and Adrenaline 530, okay? So that can be good there at all. No. Uh, but very interesting here is gonna be to see the score. It looks like it's gonna finish up first on the G6. So uh, uh, I really don't know. I can't doubt that the uh, 821. I actually think that the Galaxy S7 might win this one in in the CPU test. Uh, let's see, let's see. And also in the GPU test, I think it's more powerful than the Adreno 530. But then again, there's not that many games that is like hardcore requires everything on the GPU. So you can definitely argue if, if uh, you know it didn't does make sense. But then again, in the future proof, it's nice to have a future proof device. Okay. Single core score uh, finished up on the G6, 1847, and almost 4500 in multi core. So, was this one only a dual core? No, it's one processor, four cores, okay. Huh. Why does it get that kind of score? I don't know. Because the single core score is almost half, but it looks like it's only two cores. Uh, huh, okay. That is. Uh, I find it a little bit random. Uh, but yeah, then again, uh, 2.9, 19 gigahertz uh, clock speed here on the QCOM processor. Some very in detailed stuff here. Oh, wow, wow, wow. This is very, very impressive for Samsung. It's going to be so cool to check out the Galaxy S8 here and also compare it because this is a little bit funny. 460, 450 euro device here beats the 700 euro device in processor. That is pretty, pretty wild stuff here. And it is Samsung's Exynos 8890 with eight cores, which is beating it. And it also just has, the the, um, the G6 has more memory, a little bit more memory, but uh, it is a little bit interesting how, how powerful this one still is. Uh, but then again, you, you do get this new, very, very flashy design on the, the um, uh, on this uh, G6 and also has an extremely nice field of view camera which I'm probably going to do another video on uh, but yeah that was very very impressive S7 there is the winner on the benchmark I'm probably going to do more video let me know if you want to see any specific video and uh, yeah I'm going to get the, the S8 also so quick video hope you enjoyed have a great day